Hi, I'm Brian Denyer. I'm the editor of AV News magazine and the presenter of the series of podcasts we're recording here at ISC 2019. And we call the whole series AV Futures. So that's our guest is what we want to talk to. Our guest, who is Andy Fliss from TV One, he's the chief marketing officer. And I'm going to open up with the question of what's being shown on the TV One booth. Is the new version of Choreo Master the main story, or at least an important story still? Yeah, the new version of Choreo Master, if you look at the history of Choreo Master, it has evolved over a number of years. Incremental improvements over time. This last release is a, is a huge change. And the changes were made because of changes in the marketplace. So we have ad, we've done th- in three main areas we've improved the product. Number one is the number of outputs. So as video walls and LED walls have grown in size, there's more of a requirement for display inputs. So whether it's going to a monitor wall or it's going to an LED system, they need more monitor inputs. So we added more monitor outputs. So we can do up to 56 outputs. And when you combine that with tiling capabilities on these, um, on these display systems, we can do massive, massive video walls. And you combine that with the core competency of TV1, which is scaling and format conversion, the windowing that we produce in these, in these video walls is spectacular. So that's, that's item one. Item two is we got a demand for audio. And the reason that's a change in the market is because the application of video walls is now more of a media application rather than just a visual application, and people are asking for audio. So we can ingest audio through SDI or HDMI. We can de-embed it, and we can re-embed it. We can output it as analog or SPDI uh, digital, and we can attenuate on input or output. So it's a very versatile audio system at this point that's added to Corey. The other area we, we improved, and this is actually super important, is we've, uh, we've added a REST API to the networking environment. So now Choreo Master can be integrated into highly secure environments because it supports the, the clocking that's, that's required for that, and it also gives us greater flexibility and control. So in our world of managed services, where a lot of integrators are making their living, Choreo Master is now something that can live um, on a network environment and be managed without having to pull it or do some of the awkward tricks you had to do with standard RS-232 or one-way protocols. So um, multiple points of control, just some tremendous, those improvements, those three things will expand our reach into markets that we haven't touched before. And, and the same markets that have been saying, we love your product but it needs to do more. And so those are the things there. Aside from Choreo Master, Mm. um, uh, we're also filling out, you may have known TV One in the past to have a lot of connectivity products. Cables, distribution amps, simple switchers, and, and just routing and switching products, which we've kind of stayed away from for a while, and that was a, that was a business decision. We've reinvigorated the Magenta research line to include HDMI 2.0 switchers and distribution amps and even active optical cables to the product mix. So now we're once again trying to create an ecosystem as opposed to just a simple box product. So it's it's very nice to be in a 4K60, uh, 444 environment and be able to transmit everything we need to now. So your integrator clients are presumably pleased because they can now express a lot of what they need to do within your product range. It it sits together very neatly. And just in case you think these things, this capability are huge, they're really not. We're talking about, I think, compact devices that sit well uh, in an installation, sit well in a network, and and are not vast. It's funny because... When you, when you say that, I almost wish it they were larger. The, oh, the, well, <laughs> it's true. The reason is that if you, we go into a broadcast studio to see our products, where they're installed, 
you'll see racks and racks of Everts equipment and one little choreo master. And what you're seeing on the screen, you know, on your television, is all being driven by our little one rack unit or four rack unit choreo master. And we have no presence <laughs> in that control room. That's a little personal thing. You know, <laughs> walk in there and you want to see your brand everywhere. Mm. And it's this little thing, but it does so much. So thank you for the question. <laughs> I never would have thought of saying anything about that. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's very true. It's surprising, actually, just how much capability is built into these things. Some very clever electronics. Uh, there's a good deal of... You can do an awful lot for uh, an installer because you you are so close to the product that you can make changes, you can do a degree of customization. It's not just one size fits all and away you go. I've, I've been to the premises, seen it being done. So, uh, But there is obviously... A limit to what they can be done within the, within that product range, but it's it's much more flexible than you might think with uh, other suppliers. Yeah, well, I mean, it, having a you know video streaming input that was our most previous innovation that made a difference because now the whole network streaming infrastructure, whether it's H.264 or H.265, can be ingested as an input into the system. So there isn't a signal type that we can't manage through the system. So yeah, it's very flexible, including a built-in media player. Is there any limit to what you would consider, yep, that's a TV1 product, we would do that. This isn't a TV1 product and therefore we wouldn't do it because I'm aware of the fact that you have a lot of capability in the UK, which is quite good, and you have other um, points of distribution and manufacturing around the world. But this is not the cheapest place to manufacture, is it? It's, uh, so are there other plans to do more types of product, but perhaps not necessarily in the factory that you have here? Well, there are, there are reasons to have manufacturing in other places, but our manufacturing in England is efficient. Now, it's not the cheapest place to manufacture, but if you take manufacturing for a bespoke product like a Choreo Master, we don't produce thousands of these. So if we were to try to put that into a manufacturing plant in Singapore or Taiwan, our cost would be higher because we'd have to generate a lot more inventory than we really go through. So we do these small batch runs for our products, and in the end, financially, it's actually beneficial. Now, if we want to have manufacturing, which we are working on, uh, to have manufacturing in the, in the U.S. The reasons for that might be redundancy and security for the business. To say, hey, there's one manufacturing site. That's risky for any, ma any business. You know? Now, we do have the ability to produce our products using contract manufacturing if something went wrong, but it's not the best way. So as we develop the business, um, having more than, a, more than one manufacturing location is actually going to be quite important to us. Um, you know, this, this past year, you might recall, there was a massive fire in the industrial park where our manufacturing plant is. And that was quite an eye-opener. You know, mm. that fire burned for a week, and the smoke could be seen in Belgium. So we felt, I mean, that was, that was an eye-opener. What if that happens, and that, that, that fire travels to where we are? Where are we? Yes, we can continue to produce products, but using contract manufacturing is our is our you know is the product going to be as good right now choreo master has a 0 0.03 percent failure rate you know because we have very tight quality control we're on top of that we have to we have to have continuity so uh, that would be the reason not because it's too expensive to produce in england it's not do we still have the skills base in england i mean you you're involved all the way through the process i know you've got in-house, you've got some very talented people, but presumably they need support, they need help. So it's design, manufacturing. Do you think we're generating enough of that, or do you have to do a lot yourself? I'm not sure what, I'm not sure of the question, so. So if you're looking for skilled people to help design the next generation of Choreo Master, or you, and then you need other people with the skills to manufacture that, uh, we're not China. We haven't got, you can't open the door at um, 7 o'clock in the morning and 3,000 people run in and start work. It, it's not like that, is it? Yeah, it is. No. 
and that's that's one place that and, and I'm, I'm I'm separating manufacturing from R&D um, that is not an inexpensive proposition uh, but there is t a lot of talent in England um, whether it's you know our, our hardware design engineers or even software design engineers or FPGA which all of our equipment is uh, based on um, these field programmable PC uh, chips these Gatorade said um, there there's a lot of talent here for that but it's quite expensive the engineering talent in London is costly and and our Maidenhead facility is just outside London so it's um, you know that's the market we're looking that we, that we have to pull our talent from they're here but you got to pay for it mm. that's a worthy investment as far as the uh, the industrial talent um, one of the things when we took over TV one a basic tenant what we're trying to accomplish is um, the kind of environment where you know, th there's redundancy everywhere so that uh, there's failover and there's operation planning that mo can be filled in by, uh, by people quickly. People can come and go. If someone leaves and gets a better job, we can usually hire someone that may not ha have top skills yet, but the positions are set up so that they can be filled by, uh, by a lot of different types of folks. And, and we can sustain ourselves that way, and that 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 applies to every 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 aspect of our business, whether it's accounting, or it's order management, customer service, tech support. Um, we want to make it so that we're we're not hostage to any circumstance. So there's the redundancy in manufacturing, and then the same thing with people in position. Mm -hmm. so.